What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have the most exciting video ever. I know I always say that, but this one is crazy. You guys know I am a pilot, but I am small in the pilot world. I am just a private pilot. And my girlfriend, Stephanie, she is a jet pilot. So she is the big dogs. This is my goal. <laughs> and so today she is gonna take me into jet and she's also a CFI. So she's gonna teach me a little bit how to fly the jet. We're gonna take it to Palm Springs, grab lunch. This is like, my dream of the ultimate girls day i know some people love different girls days we in aviation are like let's go fly the plane and get lunch somewhere so yep. tell them a little bit about yourself stephanie i uh, originally was a newscaster turned business owner and someone said you should come to a story on aviation and so i did and i fell in love with it immediately and next thing you know i went from private pilot rating through instrument commercial um, for both multi and single engine and then CFI, MEI, up to a jet type rating in like a year and a half. <laughs> yeah, I did it very, very quickly. Um, as my family tells me, um, I don't let grass grow in my feet. If you guys aren't in the aviation world, this is actually insane. <laughs> so, wow, I'm so impressed by you. And if you guys, you guys have to check her out on Instagram because she flies the craziest jets. She's just the most badass person in the world. So we're gonna head to the jet and we're gonna fly to Palm Springs. Okay, so we are gonna fuel up first, but here is this beautiful plane. This is absolute goals. Okay, I'm coming in and wow, we could fit, let me do this. So many people in here. There's seven seats here and then including two up front. Oh my gosh, everybody always asks me if I have a bathroom in my plane, I do not. But they do. Wow, this is crazy. It's so pretty. I get to fly a jet. Let me tell you, this panel looks nothing like mine. This is fascinating. Oh, I'm flying. Parking brake is set. Rotor jets is checked. Fuel flight on our instruments. Fuel quantity is checked. sure it doesn't get up anywhere near yellow or red, but very, very nice and cool start, even on a very hot day. Let's get the AC on. Oh, the most important yes, thing. Yes, yes. And the avionics. Future approach runway one, two, right in use. Landing and departing runway one, two, right. Okay, we got the ATIS and now? Yes, now we're gonna get our clearance because we will be taking an IFR flight plan over to Palm Springs. I am not IFR rated, you guys, so yeah. this is gonna be fun to see. I have not seen yes. somebody file an IFR flight plan, so yep. this is awesome. Yeah, so there, even though there's no clouds, we fly, file IFR because we do want to get up uh, above 18,000, yep. but also it's just, it's a lot safer, it's a lot easier, and people, you know, ATC says, do this, do this, do this, yep. and uh, and it keeps you safe from traffic and everything, so totally. it's, it's a really it's great It's kind of like being on flight ball. Yeah, exactly. An exactly. even more advanced form of flight following. Yes, certainly. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm going to call clearance and get our clearance. And it's probably going to be quite similar to what we filed because it's looking like on here that it will likely be that. But you never know. They might give us something different. So let's see what they say. Ground citation 555 Echo Hotel. Looking for our clearance to Palm Springs. Uh, wondering if it's still on, uh, um, still active. Citation 555 Echo Hotel North Las Vegas Ground. Hey, affirmative, uh, it's still active. Did have one question for you. For your flight level, your final altitude, would you like flight level 220 or 240 today? We'll do 240, uh, Citation 5 Echo Hotel. Citation 5 Echo Hotel, Roger, and I do have that clearance if you're ready to copy. Ready to copy, 5 Echo Hotel. Citation 5 Echo Hotel, you're clear to Palm Springs Airport via the North Count 5 departure, Las Vegas, then as filed. Climb via the SID. Expect flight level 240, two minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be Las Vegas on 125.9er, squawk 5144. All right, Citation 555, Echo Hotel, clear to Palm Springs via the North Sound 5 departure. Las Vegas transition, then as file, climb via the SID. Expect 240, two minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 125.9, squawking 15144. Citation 5 Echo Hotel. Citation 5 Echo Hotel, your read back is correct. You can expect runway 1-2 right for departure today. 
Roger that. We will co. Citation 5 Echo Del. Okay, so that's all the information they gave us. Our flight plan is exactly as it was filed. So um, now we just have to double check all of the points to make sure that they're all in there. Um, that's something that can get you in trouble if you don't do that because you think, you have oh. You point at each waypoint. Yeah, so every waypoint that was um, on a four flight was sent over to the, to our Garmin 750. But yeah. if for some reason there is something that got messed up in that transfer, um, you're responsible for that in the air. Okay. So if you get the wrong waypoint. So I always go and double check the route every single time. Yeah. When, um, just to make sure that we have all of our waypoints. So what I'll do here, Delma, Jotnu, 29 Palms, Cloud, Bono, and then Palm Springs. So that's exactly what it is supposed to be and that's exactly what it is. So that's just a good way to make sure that, um, A, that you're flying it correctly and that you have all the correct points and you, you stay safe and out of trouble and, and just it's, it's the right thing to, to do. So that's a good thing to always double check. On this departure, we're going to be going off of runway one, two, right. And on here it says, so if you look at our departure, yeah, it says it's a climbing right turn on heading two, five, zero. So we're gonna be in heading mode. Okay. Intercepting the Las Vegas uh, Vegas radial 313 outbound um, at or above 37. And then at Rusco up here, this fix, we have to be below 5,000 unless they clear us higher. So they okay. might say, when we talk to departure, they might say, all right, so 555 Echo Hotel climb and maintain one, 9,000 or one, 2,000 or one nine or zero or one 2000. In that case, cancels this, the altitude restriction. So you can just go above that, that yeah. which is good. Uh, then after that, we can climb up to 7,000 LAS, but we'll probably be given altitudes higher than that right away because that's typically what they do, but not gonna assume that. We'll just uh, see, listen to actually what they do give us. So we have everything here. Ground citation 555 Echo Hotel. We have information alpha at transient parking and we are looking to taxi with information alpha. Station 5 Echo Hotel, runway 1 to right, taxi via Charlie, Bravo, Alpha, Golf. Hold short, runway 7 at Golf. Station 555 Echo Hotel, uh, 1 to right, Charlie, Bravo, Alpha, Golf. Hold short at 7 at Golf. Station 5 Echo Hotel. All right, Charlie, Bravo, Alpha, Golf. So. Wow, this is way. See, I haven't landed in uh, KVGT. Yeah. That's a lot of taxi instructions. <laughs> it is a lot of taxi yeah. instructions. And it's interesting for me, it's just like rote memorization right, because totally. you've heard it so many times, but you still have to hear it like you're hearing it the first time. Yeah. 1025 uniform Sierra, runway 12 right at Alpha, taxi via Romeo Alpha. So she said I'm going to have a job today. So you're going to see a citation <laughs> taxiing she on She is, is exciting. And since we're on an IFR flight plan, we don't have to go to the normal, well, we're going to be in the run-up area, but a little bit different area, and we get to skip all of the single engine air that are VFR flight following. So, which is very exciting because I never get to do that. I always see the jets passing by on their flight plan, and I'm like, okay, bye, guys. So <laughs> this is exciting. But here's all of our avionics. Very, very fancy, a lot going on. Everything is different for me, obviously. These are not different. I got that. We have our compass here. This is our airspeed in knots. Still a lot going on. It is, but you will learn this sooner than you think. Woohoo! <laughs> We've got a five year plan now. Exactly. We've got a busy five year plan. <laughs> we got takeoff Are you ready? And you're welcome to follow along in the controls if you'd like. Yeah. All right, one runway, one two right is confirmed. On takeoff, we are going to t go to a heading of two five zero, but we're on one two right currently. Okay, here we go. Power is coming up. Wait till it gets even, and then release the brakes. Wow, kind of like a short field takeoff. Yeah, you're exactly. letting it build up, and then, wow. <gasps> so you rotate at 81, nine. positive rate. Here is up. It is a very, very fast takeoff today because we're very light. November 5, Echo Hotel in that right turn. Contact Las Vegas Park. Going to departure. Good day. 5, Echo Hotel. Good day. Departure. Good afternoon. Citation 555, Echo Hotel in the right turn uh, on the departure for Northtown 5. Citation 555, Echo Hotel, Las Vegas Park. I didn't say altitude. 3400 and climbing uh, with the flash. 5, Echo Hotel. H5 Echo Hotel, right contact, one mile south of North Las Vegas, climb and maintain flight level 190. 190, 190, citation 5, Echo Hotel. All right, do you see how already we're going to 190, like, kind of like I had said, I was likely they were going to give us that, yeah. and uh, they did, so we're climbing all the way to 190.
zero. Well, so we didn't have so the altitude restriction of 5,000. Exactly, very nice. good, very good. So we're climbing up and now we're following uh, the flight director as you can see on your side. Oh, amazing. And as we're doing that, I am going to give you the controls, your okay, controls. my controls. All right, so you, uh, you're you climbing very nicely here. Right now we're climbing at about 4,000 feet per minute. Keep turning even further, even tighter. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go, very nice. And then oh, you can wow. pull back. There you go, very so we nice. keep the climb. Exactly, exactly. So as you turn, you're gonna lose some lift, so you gotta pull back on the There we go, ooh, we're pulling some Gs. Wow, I know, we're pulling some Gs. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. Wow. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's very good. I love the magenta. That I is know. nice. It's very, very nice. The flight little directors. Cheat sheet. Yeah. I know. Flight directors are fabulous. So we're at 11,900 right yep. now. Going into nav mode, and you'll follow. See, we're turning, and you're going to turn that a little bit with the flight director. Perfect. It climbs so fast. It we're does. Almost we're almost 4,000 14, feet per minute. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 14,000 feet already. Yeah, wow. Exactly. That would take a long time for my Piper oh, Archer. Pressurization. Okay. Yes, it would. How does it feel in the controls? It's stiffer than my plane, but it also feels more in control. Yeah, because it's a heavier plane. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's a, um, this is just cables yeah. and everything. So you're literally, you know, maneuvering the, the kind of like the weight of the airplane. Uh, with, with these kinds of controls uh, as well, and you'll get ready for our turn here. All right, we're going through 18,000. So that means that we are going to transition into our transition. Uh, altitude, which is two nine or nine or two, and what we're going to do is just before I'm going to, if you're ready, we're going to put the autopilot on, and you can start moving that. So hit this button right here, auto, right and left, autopilot's on. Great, we'll let it go. We have altitude capture. We're coming up on 19,000 feet, and it's going to level off on its Southwest own. Oh my God! Yep. So no hands. <laughs> autopilot is <laughs> on. Exactly. Yes. Yep. Yep. Wow. So what do you feel like in an Parker aircraft this size is the hardest landing? Oh, Where's no. autopilot land? Oh, no, we're not. We're autopilot. <laughs> uh, okay, nice. Well, okay, so we need to climb up to 23,000. So take this altitude selector, turn it to t where, till it says 230. It goes by the hundred, so it's kind of a long way. There you go. Perfect. Okay, now we need to get up there and tell autopilot that we need to go up there. Okay. So, you are going to, this is our pitch uh, wheel. Okay. You're just gonna start pulling it, like, just go like that, like four or five times. So that means we're gonna go up, and like kind of slowly, there you go, very nice. You'll see we're starting to pitch up. If you look at our VSI, that means, you know, foot per minute that we're going up. We can do like Oh, this is your VSI, wow. Yeah. Okay. 1,500 foot per minute is fine, and it kind of is a delay a little bit, so keep going. And then, to make sure it captures the altitude, Hit Alt Select right there. Very nice. I'll do the same. Los Angeles Center, uh, Citation 55, Echo Hotel, two, uh, flight level 222, climbing to 230. Number 555, Echo Hotel, LA Center, Roger, climb and maintain flight level 240. Maintain 240, Echo Hotel. All right, let's turn the knob up to 240 very nicely. Okay, oh yeah, right here. American Okay, great. And then we also double check that we have um, the altitude select, at least on this airplane. If you don't hit altitude select, it'll go through that. So altitude select's on, altitude yeah. select's on, we're still on autopilot. Exactly. Yeah. Nicely done. She's a jet pilot now. Yeah, that was my first time saying this high of an altitude. So this is my first time at 24,000 feet, which is flight level 240. Yep, yep. Which is a whole new lingo for me that I am now entering as a jet pilot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just getting my my one le lesson. <laughs> you will, we all start somewhere. Yeah, so you'll be there someday. The highest I've flown is, I think, 13,000. Oh, wow. okay. Yeah. You're really getting up here then. We're 10,000 feet above all right. that. So as we're capturing, as our altitude is capturing, we say capturing, and then once it says up in the scoreboard here, we call it, that says what our autopilot is doing. If once it says ALT, it means our altitude is captured by the autopilot. And so now we can sit back. Flying jets, a lot of it becomes just system management. Yeah. And so you're managing the autopilot to make sure it's doing what you want it to do. And then it's not doing something you don't want it to do. And right. so you always have to be on top and ahead of it. So like a thousand feet before you level out, always checking and monitoring, making sure you are in fact capturing that altitude so you don't go through it, uh, climbing or descending. Okay, so now we're descending down. 
Okay. Wow. Okay. Yep. About, about a little over a thousand twelve hundred foot per minute. Down to seven thousand. We're at ninety-six. And we're on a heading that will go intercept uh, a right-hand turn into the field. Gets a little bit bumpy out here by Palm Springs just because you have the heating of the earth yeah. and some wind movement, and it gets it can get a little bumpy, but not too bad. A, l a little bit less than your airplane. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit less bumpy, but... This can handle the bumps a lot better. I haven't been in too much turbulence yet. Oh, knock on wood. Knock on wood. <laughs> like, it's all been like, okay, it gets a little bumpy. I'm obviously going below VA, but yep, I'm like, it's yep. just been like a little bit. Nothing crazy. Uh, all right, so with clear for the visual, that means... You can do anything. You can. Basically, whatever you need to do to get to the airfield safely, you're allowed to do. Nice. So I'm one of those that I always like to back up the visual approach with an instrument approach because why not? I mean, you then know that you have a, a nice path getting in, and so yeah. I usually typically always do that. So we have done that here as well, and, you know, we can always fly it visually. That's no problem at all. But I, I typically like to just back it up with the visual because then uh, it's just a safer way to fly into the airport, especially at night. At night, it's a whole nother level of situational awareness that can be degraded yeah. if you don't have um, an instrument flight uh, plan backing that up or an, an approach backing it up. It, that can be that can be a little difficult. And I always say, always back up a visual with some sort of instrument approach if possible. Over to 119.7, uh, 55 Echo Hotel. All right, it's already in there, American so just switch it. There you go. 55 Echo Hotel, inbound on the visual, 431 left. Another mirror, 55 uh, Echo Hotel, correction, 555 Echo Hotel, Palm Springs Tower, wind 0 at 90, runway 31 left, clear to land. 31 left, clear to land, 55 Echo Hotel. All right, perfect. 31 left, clear to land. Perfect, okay. So now we're going to configure and get the airplane slowed down. So I'm going to have you help me with that. Okay. Just like a good co-pilot co -pilot. does. Okay, so we are going to do flaps one. So you're going to take this, push this down, and push it to take off and approach. Push it down, keep going. Right there, perfect. Okay, our flaps one, essentially, is out. We're starting to slow the airplane down. Yep. Like I do my two notches of flaps. Exactly. You got your flaps down here. Exactly. All right, so we're clear to land. We're going directly to our final approach fix, and then we'll go inbound from there. Okay. And I've landed a helicopter, I think, in this airport. Oh, really? Amazing. It's similar with helicopters and airplanes where it's like the more, like when I fly an EC-130, not a Robinson, it's like the yoke is stiffer. There's a yeah. lot more like. Oh, definitely. All right. So as we're coming inbound here, we're going to get our gear down. So gear down. You'll pull this handle out and down. Gear down. Yep. Awesome. We have our glide slope captured. Oh, wow. That's crazy what's yep. happening there. Yeah. You can definitely feel it. And so, so your autopilot just turned off. Because I, I turned that. it off. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Nice. I, yep. Yes. I did that on my own because now I'm just going to fly visually. Yeah. So into this airport, uh, there is a kind of, a, the, it's an offset approach. So I'm going to get now closer because of visual and we can see all the terrain. Yeah. I'm going to get a little bit closer onto straight and final. Totally. Now, but I would like to have a final notches of flaps. So final uh, flaps full. So push it down and in. Perfect. All right, now let's do our before landing checklist, okay. please. Before landing check, we have landing lights on. Are on. Ignition on. Correct. Yep. Uh, pressurization, zero difference. Yep, zero Gear, difference. Gear, three is green. Three green. Anti-skid. Is on. Flaps, landing. Yep. Good. AP, off. Autopilot is off. Yes. Off, yep. Yaw damper. Is off. Off, okay. We are good to land. We're all set, clear to land. Wow, this is so boss of her. All right, all good. We are gonna land closer to the numbers. Yeah. 100. Oh, wow, yeah, my depth perception compared 50, to my plane is so different. 40, 30, 20, 10. Oh, there we go, smooth. <laughs> and then thrust reversers to give us a little bit of help with braking so we don't have to brake as hard. Okay, nice. So that's very nice. Citation 55 Echo Hotel, just clear of 31 left at Julia, headed to Signature Aviation. 55 Echo Hotel, Palm Street Ground, hello, happy Friday, taxi via Whiskey, Whiskey 3. Whiskey, Whiskey 3, 55 Echo Hotel, and happy Friday. 
Okay, yeah. now we're going to go taxi before yeah. shutdown. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so she said whiskey and then... Whiskey, whiskey, three. Perfect, okay. All right, and no big deal, just the big boys taking off and big girls. I in, know, in the we're the airliners. big girls. Yeah, <laughs> the big girls, We're you the know? big girls. <laughs> <laughs> we're little girls, but yeah. we... With, but in the big uh, leagues. Big, yeah, in the big <laughs> leagues. <laughs> the big girls. <laughs> wow, there's mountains everywhere. We're going to go get lunch. Yes. We're starving, yes. and this is some... This is some serious girls' day. This is yes. how you do girls' day. It <laughs> is. It is. Amen to that. <laughs> the $1,000 hamburger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> literally what they always say. Yeah. yeah. It's not the 100, it's the 1,000 in the jet. <laughs> They're all waiting for us. Hey, boys. <laughs> They're not going to expect this, let me tell you. Exactly. All right. The boys parked us. Yep. And we made it to Palm Springs. We did. All right. And we got to do our shutdown checklist. Shutdown checklist. Yes. Okay. Here we go. AC defog fan off. Is off. Standby gyro off. Yeah, Ex gyro, there we are. Gyro. Yes, yes. Exterior lights off. Are off. Avionics off. Yep. Throttles off. Yep, here we Parking go. Parking brake chocks on. Perfect. Battery off. Yep, we'll O2. do all that. Disconnect. Yep. Control lock. Is on. And okay. seat belt. Here we go. Okay, so we had the best lunch ever. It was so good. We had a so poke bowl, key lime pie, which because, I was not expecting. Yes, yeah, so when you come to Palm Springs, you get the key lime pie at Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama, it's right there, it's so good. <laughs> and now look at all these cute shops. I've never really spent time in Palm Springs like this. I've only been here for stagecoach. So now we're shopping a little bit and it's the cutest day ever. And the mountains in the back, look at how stunning. It is a little hot, but it's not bad for Palm Springs, only 95. Yeah, yeah, it's plenty warm, but I mean, <laughs> we're making expect? it. Away. I'd rather this than it be wintry and snowy at the moment. Okay, Palm Springs Girls Day is over, but we only have a 30 minute flight home. So it's crazy to think that we flew here in the morning. Yep. And not even in the morning. No. We flew here in the afternoon, and now we went shopping, we had lunch, and now we're gonna fly back. And we got some. Oh yeah, wait, I got a pretty ring. Yes, I got a get? few rings there in the bag. Oh, oh yeah. We All got some rings. rings. You know. There's some really cute shops in Palm Springs. I yeah. can't get over, look at these beautiful mountains. And now I'm a jet pilot, so <laughs> I'm gonna be the captain. Casual. <laughs> I'm gonna be the captain right now. <laughs> One through right clear for takeoff, by five Echo Hotel. All right, we got break Take in, video static, landing light, missions, all the things that we need are on and we're clear for takeoff. Took out departure, uh, citation 55 Echo Hotel, 2000, climbing to 8000. November 555 five, five Echo Hotel, took out departure, you are radar contact. Climb and maintain 15000. Climb and maintain um, 15000, 55 five Echo Hotel. Okay, you can change the altitude selector to 15000. Contact now we are climbing. Three, I'll take radios and I'll take, give you the controls. Okay. 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 Right. Your controls. My right. controls. We are at 3,000 and climbing. We are on a heading. Typically, what we do when we're flying professionally is we say what we're doing. Yeah, if we're changing a mode, confirm it with the pilot we're flying with. So I would say 19,000 set or 19 set, and you'd say 19 scene. Oh, uh, okay, nice. So, like, just like controls. It, well, uh, it's the same. Verify, two, seven, exactly, zero, like, I, because that's a major thing that I changed, and we need to make sure that we're on the same page with that. So, you always say 19 set, and then you'd say 19 scene. There you go. Uh, because let's say that sometimes you hear it differently. Sometimes you're like, oh, I thought they said 18, or I thought they said 20, or I thought they said whatever. And then you, if you're questioning that, then you ask ATC and just say, hey, what, what was that heading again? Yep. What was that altitude? Okay, is that the main reason that's dual pilot? Three, four, zero, Hawker, three, or five, just five, flying 37. jets in general? Yeah. There, yeah, but there's also just so many more. It's it's a, it's a more complex airplane overall. And so um, the FAA... Uh, Echo know, Hotel, direct uh, Zelma. Direct Zelma, Citation 5 Echo Hotel. LA Center, good afternoon. Scott, Delma, 560, uh, activate, and there we go. Everything's all set. Okay. okay. If you want to keep flying, you can, or you can fly via autopilot. Okay, so we put autopilot on. Autopilot is confirmed. Yep, you got your perfect, your nav. We're in nav mode, which is what we need to be to navigate GPS-wise to Zelma, to our next waypoint. And altitude select is on, so then when we get to 19, we, we will level off there. And that's how I, what I always do right when I before I hit 
wow. autopilot on to make sure that, okay, are the modes correct and everything. Yeah, definitely. 210 set. 210 scene. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Woo! Very good. Okay. Hire me, Southwest. <laughs> or NetJet. <laughs> or NetJet, exactly. That's the best. Okay, so um, we're coming up on 18,000 feet, so that's the transition altitude, which means we have to turn our altimeters to 29992 over there three two, nine, times. 29992. Nine, yep. Set. 29992 set twice. But when you're landing, obviously with a single engine aircraft, I get a lot of practice because it's affordable. Yes. In a big jet like this, when there you were flying for net jets, how did you get that practice uh, landing such a big aircraft? Yeah, when you're when you're flying for an operator, whether it's an airline or whether it's a part 135 or business, anything in business aviation or uh, or flying for an owner or something like that, the the practice that you get is is in the simulator. Okay. So you do a ton of flying in the flight simulator for. You know, in some cases, 20, 30, 000. even 40 hours. And okay. so you get a good amount of time in there, but the landings in there always feel a little bit different because at the end of the day, it's technically a computer yeah. with yeah. a large simulated flight deck, but it's not the same thing. So once you go out on uh, and are flying with, um, for your uh, initial operating experience, or what we call IOE, that's when you start to build up the landing experience in the actual airplane. As a co-pilot. Yeah, exactly. And so you're with a training captain, and the captain who's, you know, thousands of hours and so much experience, um, they'll help you. Um, you certainly know how to land airplanes at that point. You know how to land jets at that point, but every jet's a little different. So um, the Citation 5, the aircraft that we're flying, which is very similar to a CJ-3 or a CJ-3+, plus. This airplane lands pretty straight on. It's much different than a Piper, which I yeah, also yeah. learned on. And uh, in Pipers or in any small single engine piston aircraft, you often take it almost to stall or to stall on the landing and, and put it down. So there's a lot of um, yeah. pulling the nose back. You don't do that as you saw in the oh, jet. Oh, okay. You, you land it more, you just kind of arrest the descent a little bit, give a little bit of a flare, barely, and then put put it down. It's more of a straight landing on. Okay, less of a flare. Less okay. of a flare, yep, yep. You guys, we're coming in for landing that, back uh, in North Vegas. Up. And do we have ground in already? Station 5 Echo Hotel, stay parking. Outback, 5-5 five, five Echo Hotel. Echo Hotel, taxi, Kilo Outback. Kilo Outback, 5-5 five, five Echo Hotel. All right, yeah, they usually uh, just have us stay with tower often. Um, oh, sometimes you have they'll to go to ground. ground. Yeah, sometimes you will. Sometimes it's like 50 50, depending on how busy they are. Nice. All right, we got Kilo coming up. <laughs> Safe and sound. That's right. Co pilot Kinsey, first officer. <laughs> right here. Reporting for duty. <laughs> And our last but not least, we will have our shutdown. Yes. And that will conclude our amazing journey, our long, oh, treacherous journey. So very, very arduous. It was so hard. Palm Springs, I'm <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> that is a fun little day trip. Woo! Oh, and look who's here to greet us, the Albatross. Hello. The Albatross. Are Hello. you parking over here? Yeah, so we're parking back at the hangar. Nice. Um, yes, yeah, so she will be with her, her, her little sister airplane, the Albatross. Nice. <laughs> so did you enjoy it? Oh my gosh, now I'm like, wait, I never wanted to fly for an airline, but I'm like, wait, should I <laughs> Should I go get a side job? Business aviation or an airline, I mean, hey, that would be very fun. Yeah, right? Yeah. But I'm like, that was so much fun. Thank yes. you so much. This of was course. like, so cool to be your co, you know, to help you today. A little bit with the radios, a little Absolutely. couple things here you have and to there. fly everything. Yeah, except for landing. <laughs> that we got to work our way up to. Hey, but before you know it, you will be doing it. Okay, he's RC carring. Look at this. <laughs> He's gonna roll it into the hangar, and we are gonna take the beautiful G wagon, and she's gonna drop me off. Yes. Thank you so much. This was You're such a crazy so day. Welcome. I'm gonna put all of her information below, so go check out her account. She is such a boss. She flies this, she flies this, and she flies for NetJets. Love you guys so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. So great to see you. Bye. Woo!